Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and check it out. Yep, I got me a new green hoodie. Those who watch the channel a lot know I wear a green hoodie for no real reason. But I bought a new one for you guys. So look, it says Freedom, it's Under Armour, it's really cool. And that's what I got for you this week. So there we go, there's the video on the new green hoodie, and we're all done. Oh wait, you wanna know what that is over there. <laughs> so I bought a new car, uh, bought a new SUV actually. Uh, my wife and I were talking about it, and we had to have something, the Tundra, we're gonna sell. Uh, Silver Auto I'm going to keep, so we said let's buy a new car. So let's go check this one out, and I'll tell you the reasons why we bought it, and I'll tell you how much cross shopping we did, because it was quite a bit. So let's go see. Do, 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 do. All right, this is a 2023 Chevy Trailblazer. It is the active package. We have the little bit of, it's like a weird kind of bronzy, tarnished looking uh, chrome there. We have the nice little Liberty Superstores we bought it from here in, we were in Sturgis, South Dakota. We have the white top. We are uh, currently thinking about calling this thing Oreo. Like the cookie. Yeah, I like cookies. All right, so there is that. We have the big fog lamps, daytime running lamps. There is our wheels. We have white mirror caps, white roof. It is a black exterior. Come on the sides. Let's check out the truck area first. Start with, with we have little trunk area we do have a real spare tire and a jack and all that good stuff back there close that we do have two rows of seats and that there come on the sides oh we have trailblazer all-wheel drive which is very important the active trim and then that interesting kind of chrome it's not beta chrome but it definitely has a look to it like the new sierra denali ultimate has here's our second row of seats coming in here don't really have anything back here no usbs there's really no airflow back here. Uh, we do have quite a bit of headroom. I'll show you that. Yeah, that works pretty good. Good amount of headroom, good amount of shoulder room, but not much for plugins. But luckily, it's a small car. So, all we got to do, excuse me, oh, I smacked my head there, is uh, run the cords up from the, big, from the front. So, the front seat. Here we go. Let's go inside the Trailblazer. Okay, so inside the Trailblazer, we have a Beeping noise, yes. I know the, the <laughs> key fobs left in the vehicle. We have this kind of interesting light bronze. We have more plastic, lots of plastic in this vehicle as you'd expect at this lower price point. Uh, we left, we have some lights there, cubby hole there, and we have, there's our dash screen, which I'll change the star. Steering wheel. There's a dash, we have a start stop, not a key fob, which is nice. Here comes my wonderful wife. So, there we go. There's our mechanical gauge dash, and she has got CarPlay hooked up. There is some cords here. We have sport mode, all-wheel drive, lane assist, and then the dreaded auto start stop, which you can turn off there for the button. Automatic transmission, it's nine speed, and then we have a little cubby hole here, and yeah, there's our interior. So, let me get the wife in here and we'll explain why we bought this. All right, here she is back from the store. We are driving back in tandem. I have the Silverado, she's got the Trailblazer. I'll put some video on the screen here in a minute. We did a first test drive and we'll play that video. Okay, here we are in the first drive of the Chevy Trailblazer. We did the walk around, show the exterior, show the interior. And this is literally our first drive with it. This is our test drive. Yeah, literally. <laughs> it's kind of funny how it works out. But we're, yeah, we're here in, uh, where are you at, Sturgis? Yes. Sturgis. Sturgis, South Dakota. This is the only dealership in the area that had anything within 250 miles and uh yeah so um i've driven this before we did the 2021 as a press loan this is the first time you've ever driven a trailblazer mm -hmm. okay yep i like it you like it yeah so i mean it's it's not i mean it's not exceptionally roomy which you wouldn't expect with a subcompact suv right but it's got you know we got heated seats we got heated steering wheel yeah we got the we got a uh looks like a little spot for um, some charging maybe it doesn't look like wireless charging but a spot for gum kleenexes storage spot we do have lane departure we have uh this i think this is a race mode yeah that's sport mode yes. and then we have all-wheel drive on a button and we have lots of little storage little cubicles um seats feel pretty good little so shelves. far yeah i mean the seats aren't like i wouldn't say they're thick thick but they'll work pretty good for just around town I'm, this is not uh -huh. like a uh, long distance drive vehicle. I don't think any stretch imagination. No, but. maybe me driving to Cheyenne. Yep. Not like all four of us, but. Yeah, yeah, which is about an hour and a half away. So not that big of a deal. What do you think about like visibility? Pretty good. I can see a lot. Um, 
these are a little thicker than I expected, but they'll right. be fine. The eight pillars are eight pillars are a little bit bulky, but not too bad. They're not like big obstructions. Mm -hmm. No, it it's pretty good. And I I'm feeling I can hear a little more road road noise than you would, you know, higher end vehicles. But it's not like it's the end of the, end of the world. Uh -huh. Not too much road noise. And then uh, this is a straight. Want to get on it? Well, let's put it in sport mode. Sport mode engaged. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, it, yeah, okay. it's not it's not like a, you're not going to go, oh my gosh, wow. You it's know? not like my Mazda that throws you in the seat. Right, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, we had, she used to own a Mazda that used to, she liked that. Yeah. Well, yeah. Right, so, I mean, it's not like the fastest bar train. But, again, as we talked about, for our needs, we have a teen driver coming up. Yes. You know, we really want to make sure that we have a vehicle that, is, this is not flashy, flashy new. Um, it'll be a three-year-old used vehicle when he takes it over. But the reasons for that is we have Team Driver, which is a big deal to us as parents. Yeah. We're able to use the app system on this vehicle and keep track of where he's going, keep tra set limits how fast it's going, set limits on how loud the radio is. He's going to hate us. He's going to hate you, right? <laughs> We're not helicopter parents, but we definitely want to teach him the right way and make sure he's not going to get in trouble at an early age by goofing around. Right. So, yeah, I think he's, I think this is perfect for him. Um, and, you know, he's getting taller, but I think he's got plenty of head rim. So, yeah. yeah, he should be fine should in this be fine, car yeah. right now. Yep, yep. So, I think overall, first drive impressions are pretty favorable. Mm -hmm. I like it. I think this is going to be good. And now we're back. So, let's talk about the reasons why we bought this. So, we put it up earlier as a teaser on a YouTube short. People were saying, I asked them what kind of vehicle we can go buy. People said Hyundais and Kias, and trust me, we looked. So people said Ford Bronco Sport, we looked. I didn't really, frankly, I didn't really want to buy another Chevy because we already have a Chevy Silverado. And I like to th keep things kind of mixed up in the channel. You know, like we had a Ford, we had a Toyota, now we have a Chevy and kind of mix it. But frankly, uh, this fit all of our needs and we could find it. Yeah. And it was a decent price. So our needs were simple. Uh, we wanted a compact SUV, right? So my wife has been driving the Toyota Tundra, which doesn't really work around town. It doesn't really make sense. It's too big for her um, as far as a daily driver. So I bought the Silverado. So it doesn't make sense for us to have two trucks. We don't have that kind of lifestyle. So we wanted a compact SUV. We wanted something to fit in the garage because uh, I'm tired of starting a car up in the morning and she's tired of starting a car up in the morning and we're tired of scraping windows. We needed for all wheel drive because they don't plow our streets and we get nasty weather. Mm -hmm. And uh, we needed something that was a little fun to drive, this little little 1.3 liter turbocharged engine. So it's got some pep to it in sport it has mode. Turbo. It's got turbo, she's experienced. Um, so it's got a little pep to it at times, and so we needed that. We also wanted something, like we said in the video, we wanted something to hand down to our son. So our son's yeah. gonna be, by the time he gets this vehicle, he'll be three years, so he'll be, 16. let's see, 16. This will be three years old. We really wanted a teen driver features on this so we could tr keep track of them. And we wanted to have something that was reliable. Now, um, I did something in the purchase that I don't, we don't normally do. We yeah. got the extended warranty, and I don't normally do that, but I thought in this case, it's a six year, 100,000 mile warranty. So by the time he goes to sell it, he'll be 19 going to college or changing up whatever, everything's covered. Yeah. Now that makes me feel good. And the reason that I also buy new vehicles um, that if you may not know the history on this is that um, she had a CRV that we had for like 14 years, something like oh, that. Oh gosh, forever. And then I was in the airport Houston and she was calling me because she had problems with the vehicle. And, and you don't know stress when you can't help your family and you're two airports away and thorns, there was a rainstorm going through and I said, done. I said, peace of mind, new vehicle and warranties. They make me feel better. And with this job and this business I have, I'm on the road quite a bit. So okay. I wanna make sure that they have something reliable to drive. Um, so we got this, we got the full warranty that's gonna be taken care of on that. And uh, yeah, I think I think overall, I think our price out the door was 30,805, something uh -huh. like that. So about $30,000, um, interest rates are stupid high right now, so oh we'll probably refinance it at some point in the, the loan process. Mm -hmm. And our goal, like I said, is to keep it for over three years. For her to keep it, then we'll go shopping again and give it to the son, and we'll kind of go the same thing with our second second son as well. So mm -hmm. it's kind of what we're thinking as far as that. I think this vehicle kind of fits those, those needs, like I said. All-wheel drive, compact, reliable, good price point, and a little fun to drive. Not a lot of fun to drive. Lots of a safety. little, a lot of safety features in that team. <laughs> yeah, we did. He wanted a Corvette, then he wanted a <laughs> Nissan NSX, and he wanted a Supra. Supra, and we're like, no, 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 you're gonna get a, a compact SUV. So I think that mm -hmm. worked out pretty good. So you have, what well, you currently have, 103 miles in this vehicle, and I have put on all but 11. 11. So your first. No, sorry, six. So your first hundred miles. What are you yeah. thinking so far? 
You know, it's it's kind of surprising. I was not expecting the turbo to be like that. Um, and so it does have some get up and go, so that helps. I um, It's a very comfortable drive, almost too comfortable. I'm too relaxed. I had to pick up a green tea because I'm, I'm dozing off a little bit. Um, so it's just really a good driving car. Um, handles really well. I think the only negative I have right now is the fact that it doesn't have very many USB ports. Very many chargers. There's nothing in the back seat. And there's only one um, up front that's a USB. Then there's a USB-C and then there's a classic cigarette lighter charger. So, I mean, there's some up front, but everything else works great. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything. And you have a heated steering wheel. We have heated seats. Heated seats, and we have steering plenty well. of vents. It's, it probably gets pretty warm in here pretty fast. It does. Um, and we easy have, connect to Apple CarPlay. Right. Is it wireless or wired? It's wireless, but my phone is dying, so uh, I was charging out. it. It right. does not have a wireless charger. Um, it, it has lots of storage inside, and we don't we don't have adaptive cruise control, but uh -uh. it's not something that I don't think we'd live without. But it does have heads up if I get too close to another car. It flashes nice and bright to say stop. So How did you know about that? Somebody was driving really slow in front of me and there was another car going to pass and um, I had to slow down, got close to them so I could pass them. It, yeah. Yeah. It was at a person's fault, Defensive right? driving. <laughs> okay. I think that's kind of it. I mean, like I said, it, 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 our buying reasons were a uh, little... That, that, we explained the buying reasons, I should say, more accurately. We explained those to you, and we explained what we shot for, what we tried to buy, and we re we wanted to buy an EV, too. I thought EV worked out well, but, gosh, the price of those is so expensive, and oh, we can't yeah. find them. I, I mean, and that. so it really came down to what we could find, and we're a little bit of a, not really a time crunch, but kind of a time crunch. She's off work for at least two weeks, then she goes back to work January 4th, and I just wanted to get something in the driveway for her to drive so I can take the Tundra now, and now I can go sell it, and keep the Silverado, so I guess it kind of frees things up a little bit, and so I don't have to, we don't have to share the truck so much and, and do that kind of thing. So a little bit of a time crunch, but um, we just there's so much stuff in transit, we just couldn't find anything. Yeah. But yeah, I think this works out really well. I think, I'm really pretty happy with it. Um, I was I was she was falling behind me, and, and it, you know what? It kind of grows in you. It looks a little different. A little cop car, a little Keystone cop going on. A little Oreo. <laughs> I said Oreo in the intro. It's it's a little different, but it. it it, I, I yeah, think it works for our son. On, I think it. I think yeah, for a teenager kind of look to it. I think it really works for him. The the white on the roof. I I totally am like okay. The stuff that throws me that is taking a while is the white caps on the, oh, um, the mirror rear caps. mirrors. And I look over at that and I think, yeah. <laughs> it's interesting. I need to look into some wraps or some <laughs> stickers or vinyl. Or <laughs> right. Right. But no, I think it's going to be a great car for him to practice driving on, a great car for me to use on a daily basis. I think it's going to be um, a really great addition to our Chevy family. <laughs> not, we're not trying to have. We're but not biased. It, it just right, happened, it just that, happened way. that way. Yeah. We really, we're looking at it. I we wanted like a RAV4 Prime. Cars. I mean, we looked for everything. We just couldn't find anything. And, uh, you know, so the, for the road trips and things, we'll take this, the Silverado or whatever truck I have. And for the time being, this will be around town and for you commuting to work, and it's going to be perfect. And maybe the the off trip of going to Denver, but never more than, like, two or three yeah, people hours. in the car. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, yeah. Okay, hey, for more check out videos over here, website down below, pickuptrucktalk.com. As always, thanks for watching. We will see you down the road.